If you're spending all of your time on the past and all of your time planning for the future, what happens is you forget about right now. And now is when things are happening, this instant. This idea of real time is the most fundamental change in marketing in decades. And here's what I mean by that. We're going through the biggest revolution in the way that humans communicate in 500 years since the invention of the printing press. With the web and instant communication, anybody all over the world can communicate with anybody else from all over the world. And that has fundamental ramifications for all businesses and how they get noticed. If you're not creating content online that the search engines will find and that people will share, then you're gonna be left in the dust. Because on the web, you are what you publish. So if you're publishing great information on the web, you're great. If you're publishing nothing on the web, you're nothing. If you're publishing bad information on the web, you're bad. The worst kind of speech that I see is when people make love to their PowerPoint slides. They have a whole bunch of words on their PowerPoint slides and they, they push the button and they read the words on the PowerPoint slide and they push the button and they read the words on the PowerPoint slide and the audience is like, oh my God, I mean, what is this going on here? And it just doesn't work. What I do instead is I have images. I have pictures, I have photographs, I have screenshots, I show some videos occasionally in my presentations as well. And it's all to reinforce what I'm saying. If you have a piece of information ahead of people, even if it's two or three seconds ahead of people, you can trade on that information like this guy right here. So they can focus on what I'm saying and focus on how I'm saying it as opposed to What's going on in that screen behind him? Speak to your buyers in their language, not in your language. Which brings me to another point. So the presentations I deliver are always customized for the audience. I look at what industry are the people in who are going to be in the audience? What job function are they in? Are we in a particular country or a particular geographic area? And then I customize the presentation accordingly. Tanya, congratulations. You win a copy of Marketing Lessons from the Grateful Dead. Here's the thing about the Grateful Dead. They allowed their fans to record their concerts. When every other band said no, the Grateful Dead said, sure, why not? You can record our music, go right ahead. And, and so as a result of doing this, the band became the most popular touring band in history for a number of years. What can we learn from the Grateful Dead? What we can learn is that giving away your content can make you successful. When I do my presentations, I'm focused on three things. I'm focused on educating the audience. I'm educating them about the ideas of generating attention for their business in this new world of online information. It's not about Twitter. It's not about LinkedIn. It's not about YouTube. What it's about is instant engagement. And what we're talking about is a mindset. Because most marketers are only operating in campaign mode. Your job is to switch from exclusively campaign mode, there's nothing wrong with that if it works though, to including some real-time inbound marketing. I'm entertaining them because if they're not enjoying my presentation, the information isn't gonna soak in. You guys are really smart and maybe you can tell me who the hell are these people <laughs> who inhabit the websites of so many marketers. Does she really work at your company? Really? No, she's a stock model you pulled out of a catalog. Right, there's nothing wrong with stock photos. There is something terribly wrong 
if you're using stock photos to represent either your employees or your customers. And the third thing is I want to motivate people to take action after they leave the presentation. What good is it if they sit there and they laugh a little bit and they learn something and they don't take advantage of it? So let's put this all together. I've got four action items that you can think about as you go forward back to your, um, your stores and back to your businesses uh, on Monday and how you can implement some of these ideas. And then when you have the content created, sharing it through networks like LinkedIn is the way to success. That's how Eloqua generated a million dollars in new business from one blog post that took them less than two hours to create. One of the coolest things that I do is I have opportunities to meet and to interview really, really interesting people. Did you check out Cindy's inbound marketing? Right? I know I certainly did. How do you think of what's next for my fans? How do I build products? So the fact that I can speak with these interesting people around the world, CEOs of companies, rock stars, even heads of state, allows me to gather information about how organizations all over the world are generating attention for their businesses. I can take that information and make it a part of my speeches. First, sounds terrible, but I stopped listening to the record company. No more outbound marketing. Before the conference even starts, I'm going to promote your event on my social media, on my Twitter, on my Facebook, on my site as appropriate. The other thing I'll do, I'll make a video for you. I'll film it in my office, two minutes, three minute video, talking about what I'm going to say at the conference, inviting people to attend. What we're going to be talking about in the masterclass is about how you can reach your buyers directly using online communications. So I'm looking forward to seeing you at my New Rules of Marketing and PR Masterclass in Cairo on January 15th. See you there. You can use that video to promote the event on the conference website. When I'm actually on site at your event, I don't speak and run. Unlike a lot of other professional speakers who do their, their one hour and disappear, I'll be there, I'll be visible. I'll spend time with the audience, I'll share lunch with them, I'll, I'll go to the dinner with them, I'll go to the cocktail party. I'll be actually at the event as a full participant. I know that what I'm doing is helping you to make the conference better. Your job is to develop your real-time mindset. Your job is to stop making excuses. My name is David Meerman Scott, and this has been Inbound Marketing Now. Thank you very, very much.